Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I review different action figures. Today I will be reviewing McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batgirl and Nightwing. Alright, so we'll start with the different accessories these guys come with. So, first off, they both come with the basic DC Multiverse stand that every single figure comes with. It's just in a plain black. It's got a DC logo on there, and then it has a peg to put into the peg hole for the figures so move those out of the way then next we have the trading cards so here's Batgirls and it's got a nice picture of her on there and then on the back it's got the source real name height weight and then it has a little bio about her if you want to read that you can pause that now and then moving on to Nightwing's trading card, he comes with a nice picture on the front of his too. And then he's got the source, real name, height, weight, and then the bio again. So you can pause the video if you'd like to read that now. And then moving on to the actual accessories, we have Batgirl's Battering, which does look very nice. It's in all gold paint and it's in the shape of a bat. And this one is different than the one that came with the Detective Comics Batman, which I do like the Batgirl's design better, but this one is still a cool battering. But it still does have that thickness to the battering, and it's pretty big in the hand too, so that's a little bit of a downside, but it's still a cool accessory that she came with. And then next, she has her grappling hook, which is, again different than the uh, Detective Comics one. The Detective Comics one actually has a little more detail than this one. And so that's a little bit of downside, but it still does have a little bit of detail on the actual gun part. But it's still a cool gun and it's got a different shooting out of the cable design onto it. So that's nice that it's not just reuse. And then it does have a different grappling hook on the end. So that's very nice. And now for Nightwing's accessories, he comes with his Escrisma sticks, which are pretty plain, just all in shiny black paint. And it does have some grip detail in here sculpted in there. And it does have a little notch to put into the back part of Nightwing's holders for these. And so I'll show that later in the video. And so those are pretty nice. and. So there's all the accessories for these figures. Okay, so now we'll start with the Nightwing figure, starting with the head. So looking at his hair, he's got the nice sculpted hair detail on him. And it's in kind of a bluish, well, there's a little bit of blue paint on there. That's all right though. But it's a little bit of a bluish kind of black mixed together paint, which looks nice, but it's kind of shiny. I would have liked it a little more matte, but that's all right. Not too picky about that. And then he's got nice face sculpt. He's got the nice blue mask, nice bright blue. And then he's got black around the white part of the eyes. So it kind of breaks it up. And then he's got nice skin tone and different lip colors. So it's a pretty good head. Then moving down, he's got like all his muscles sculpted in, and then he's got the Nightwing symbol, I guess you'd call it, sculpted into, just like all the other like bad emblems. And then this carries on to the shoulders right here on both sides. And then it even goes to the back. And this is his holders for the Scrisma stick. So if you take one right here, you can just pop it in and push it up and it stays in pretty nice. So that's pretty cool that he can actually hold those in. It's got the nice blue paint on them too. And then moving back to the front, he does have some different texturing on the side of his body right here. Different lines coming down, carries on to this little kind of diaper or underwear sort of piece it kind of looks like just to cover the articulation stuff in here. And then he has the same textures on the inside of the legs and the line. It goes down. 
and then he's got blue on his shins right here blue kind of strap things on here which does look very cool and then before i forget about the arms and the hands he does have the lines running down there and he does have like a little band around here which is just still in black which would be nice if it had a little more color to it but that's all right and then on the knuckles he actually has some blue on the knuckles which is very nice added detail and then back to the feet he has the same tread sort of thing as batgirl which looks very cool added detail nothing really on the bottom and this figure is mostly in black paint which would be nice if it had like a little bit of a wash on it but i think he still looks like a great nightwing figure and overall he looks pretty good so yeah all right so now we'll take a look at the articulation of these figures starting with batgirl and so she has no looking up because the hair runs into the um the cape in the back here she can look down a little bit she has no tilt well kind of a little but not really then she can look down a little bit but not too much then we have the arm that goes out about that much has a butterfly joint which can go back and move back and forth has the double jointed elbow then if you take a look at the hand can get it to move back and forth and then it can twist all the way around and oops that looks kind of weird then moving on to the torso she can go a little bit forward really no ab crunch and she can go back more like all the McFarlane figures so far. Then moving on to the legs, she has no thigh swivel. She can kick forward about that much, about 90 degrees. Kick back that much, not very far at all. It's got the double jointed knees again on the there. Then it has the ankle ball joint right there. And then it has the toe. And then you can kind of tilt it around. Not really though, but so there's the articulation for Batgirl. Moving on, now we'll take a look at Nightwing's articulation. So starting with the head, his head cannot go back at all because the hair runs into this little collar right here. And then for down, he can look down a little bit. That's nice. Then he has a little bit of tilt from left to right. And then now looking at the arms, he's got arms that go up about that much. And he's got the butterfly joint in here. You can see it a little better without the capes on those other figures. And then he has double jointed elbow. Then he's got the hand, which can go forward and backwards, or you can twist it to make it go other ways. Twist all the way around. It also has a bicep swivel, I think I forgot to show that. Then for the ab crunch, he has nothing really going forward, just barely, but no ab crunch right here. And then of course you can arch back a ton. And moving on to the legs, can go up that much, about 90 again can go back a little farther and can go out like that there's no swivel at the thigh he has double jointed knees and then also i'll add that his legs are a little bit long so it kind of messes up the scale of the figures and i'll show that a little bit later in the video and then he's got the ankle joint right there you can twist all the way around not really any swivel or side to side on this one and then he has the toe joint of course and so there's the articulation for the nightwing figure and so now looking at scale these figures are all pretty much almost the same height which is not accurate so if we take a look at these cards right here 
you can see that the height for Bruce Wayne is six foot two inches. And then take a look at Nightwings, which is five foot ten. So Nightwing is actually very tall, and I think it's because of his legs. They made his legs a little too long. And so the scaling is not the best so far. And then if we look at Barbara's or Batgirl, her height is five foot nine. So, I mean, I get it that they are a little bit very similar to height, but still, Batman should definitely be taller than them when they're about the same height. And also, I might add that these guys' heads are much more in scale sort of thing with the figures. Because if you look, Batman's head is very small compared to Nightwing's. So, I'm not really too much for scale, but it would have been a little nicer to have them all in the right scale sort of thing. But that's alright. So I just wanted to show you guys the scale that these figures are in and how they would pair with Batman. One thing that I forgot to mention is that these figures are both part of a collect and connect or like a build a figure sort of type thing where they build this Batmobile and so each of them come with three pieces and the other build a figure figure is the Batman who laughs who I will be doing another review on in another video and so this middle part is one piece all right here and then these two sides were one piece and I can't take it apart anymore because I've already put it together but so Batgirl and Nightwing I think came with Nightwing came with one of these sides and then Batgirl came with the middle I think but I could be wrong it could be the other way around but so I just wanted to show this it is definitely not in scale which is a little sad but that would have to be a giant Batmobile to be in scale so it's all right. It's kind of a little cool collectible thing. It's got nice detail on it. And I will be showing this again when I review the Batman Who Laughs. So, overall, I think these are very nice figures and that they have done a good job with the sculpt and the details of these figures. And they have some nice accessories that come with them. And even though they do have a little bit of scaling issues, they are still very cool figures. And they're a nice addition to your Bat family, which they will be adding on to later with the Red Hood figure and also a Damian Wayne figure. So that'll be very nice to have a Bat family. And if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And then turn on the notification bell if you'd like to see other reviews that I make. And if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll have a link in the description below. And so thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day.